All right, folks, I've been, it's been so long since I did a beer review, I forget how to do them. Man, but today we're going to learn about the top 10 best selling magazines of 2021. But first, I'm going to drink a shirt, I'm going to drink a hat, I'm going to drink a glass from, you guessed it, MM Beer. Uh, I need some glasses. Tell you what, what's going on, man. I tell you what's going on. This is out of Youngstown, Ohio, Baker's Brew House, Cruising Christmas Ale, barrel aged. Okay, this is barrel aged. And Christmas Ale. Uh oh. Hey, let's look at the date. Eight percent alcohol. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, it went a step further and aged it in Kentucky bourbon barrel for ninety days. Okay. Okay, Jack. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, they have a, a born on date or anything, you know? Oh, well, they used to have them in bottles. I think they finally can put, they're starting to put their stuff in cans, which is better, you know? But anyways, let's go, we'll go from nine to one. This will be the top 10. I said 10, Playboy's number 10, but no, number nine. We'll go from the, the least to the most. The women's, women's Day, two, wait, two, 2,370,157 magazine. Woman's Day. I remember, I don't think my mom ever got Woman's Day. She got, um, she called murder magazines. And they were uh, true crime stuff. And I never, never thought of it. That's what a podcast I like now. That's like, that's weird. All right. Like a brown ale color. Huh? Huh? Meh, meh, meh. Meh, meh, meh. Yeah. Got a slight haze to her. Out of one out of five haze, I would, I don't know. Can't even see the darn thing. Gotta put my eyeballs on. The head's gone. A little bit carbonated. 8%. I, I smell like a cinnamon. Well, if it's a Christmas ale, it's got a lot of cinnamon in it. 8%, I'm not, I'm not drinking a couple of these. I drink one, that's about it. Uh, don't care for it. No. Um, no, not at all. It almost tastes flat. Being a barrel eight, I wonder what the brew dog date, it, I mean, it's only, it's, it's January, but it, it tastes flat. It's, uh, almost got a, a slight sour taste to it. A little bit, a little bit of bubbles in there. I wonder if I got an old batch. Like, it can't be that old. So I, I really don't care for this. I mean, you could drink it. I mean, I get, what do I get out of it? I don't have any of the, I get a little bit of the, the alcohol being a little higher. Um, do I get the bourbon? A little bit. I'm getting a very little bit of bourbon. I really don't count, care for this. It's just not a good beer. I mean, I could drink it. I think four, yeah, four pack of this is was eleven ninety nine. I think. I really don't like this beer. I mean, some people might like it. It's not for me. But anyway, let's go back. Let's go back to this number eight. Reader's Digest. I like Reader's Digest. I like the the. The humor and uniform and all that uh, stuff, that's funny. You got some good stories in there. 2,654,768. Number seven, Southern Living. At two point, we'll just say 2.8 million. And then number six, you, you, I know I, I heard Southern Living, I really haven't, I don't know. Good housekeeping, naturally. Okay, good housekeeping. 3.36 million. Uh, this next one, I've never seen a magazine, this magazine anywhere, being the fifth. 
at 3.4 million, People Magazine. I always heard of it, never seen it, never seen it. A couple of these, I don't even know where they existed. Number four, at 7.6 million, Better Homes and Gardens. I, I think a lot of people just sit around at home reading magazines. I, I can't remember the last time I read a magazine. What the hell was it? Oh, it was a Playboy. It was, <laughs> the, the ceiling at work collapsed through a water line break. And I'm up there, you know, fixing the suspended ceiling thing, and I'm doing all the, the cleanup and everything. And I look over the, the ceiling, and there's a Playboy up in. The, someone moved the panel up in there and put a Playboy up in there. And I checked the date, it was 2015. I I could I, the models in there. I I can see. I seen better. Nothing nothing to write home about. That's all I say. Anyways, let's go with uh, number three. We broke double digits here, folks. 10 million American Main Street publications. Never seen it. Never seen it before. Number two. At 22 million. Wow. 22.5 million. Just a little bit over 22.5 million. The AR, AARP Bulletin. I didn't even know that was a magazine. Bulletin sounds like a pamphlet. And just a little bit higher than that, that was 22.5 and 22.8. It must be the the, the parent magazine, AARP. I have no clue what AARP is. I think it's for people over 50. And I got like 30 more years to go to get that. If you believe that. I got a a bridge to sell you. All right, what would I rate this? I'll give it a D. It's drinkable. That's all it is. I'm I'm not, I got a four pack. I am not drinking another one. I will give them, I'll give them to George and I'll give one to uh, Brandon at work. So, yeah, that's that's not not the best. So we'll see. I got a couple. I got a few more. I got like three more of these from Biker Brew House. So you better better be uh, up on it. So we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>